he makes one of two. So 450, you're down one. My, my first question is your ball screen coverage the last four minutes. So I want to ask you about is how deep mm-hmm. your bigs are icing those screens and then what you want the guards to be doing over the top. Well, we, we, we definitely plug off their bigs because they don't shoot. They really don't shoot jump shots. So we plug off of them. And- It's impossible. Like our normal ball screen coverages don't work when you're plugging off of a big like that. So we have to adjust and go more toward the drop. So this is a game that's very counter to our normal ball screen coverages. We'd like to go over as much as possible, but they can whip under when it, when it makes sense. That's a great cut late in a possession and a great pass. I thought Joey Kern was smart to go dig on the elbow right there. They made a really nice play late, but we, I, I thought that was a really nice defensive possession that took a lot of their time. It made them really work, and they made a really nice play late in the shot clock to, to get a shot at the rim. Coach, for, for those kind of listening and watching, what is it about their offense really, that you guys were most concerned with in this sp- specific game? Landry Kosmolski is their coach. He's a fantastic coach, played at Davidson, worked at Davidson, has kind of tweaked the traditional Bob McKillop uh, motion into his own. There's constant movement. There's constant reads. They're very tough with the ball. They're very strong with the ball. They read cutters like a Davidson team would. They, They see cutters late attacking the rim. They keep the they keep the rim open. So they do a masterful job, I think, of creating space with two non-shooting bigs and that's super hard to do so you got to tip your cap to them and we get the veer back here we don't get too deep we bring it out he doesn't feel like the roles there perfect like don't force that if you can't find that window that's where the veer back gets really hard right it's a hard window to find and we're gonna you know have a plan on how to isolate and attack that that switch and then strangely enough they they cross here and we get another switch which is i don't know if it's good or bad or otherwise but it works out well the thing that strikes me about after what delaney does well is how much space he backs up to half court with every time uh, that- yeah, we talked about that when when we're isolating earlier in the game, we isolated with more boomerang type possessions where we get him off the ball and then back onto the ball so that he can attack with a live dribble. But then if he's in this situation where he's keeping his dribble, just how, how to create space and, and put the defense on their heels.